G'day, I'm Brack, this is The Breakfast Club, and today we are talking about transports. It's the Breakfast Club. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah, another one, another, another video release of this, another video release of this. Yeah, look, here is a, uh, a another video in this series where we look at the data sheets of various units and um, we talk about a little bit of tactics and things like that. So today we are looking at transports. So transports on wheels or if they're on legs pulling things. Um, if they've got legs and they're walking they'll be in a, another video. With not much further ado, let's go and check them out. Okay, here we are, the battle wagon, the good old battle wagon. And we only have one data sheet for this. Gone are the days of the gun wagons and the roller wagons or whatever they were called. It was just another excuse for another bloody data sheet, I thought. So um, let's have a look at the battle wagon. Okay, so. 10 inch move, toughness 10, 3 up, save, 16 wounds, a leadership of 7, and um, an OC of 5. Okay, the ability is called Deadly Demise and a firing deck 22. Deadly Demise D6 means that um, it's down to its last wound, you roll D6. You get a six, explodes. And firing deck 22 means that um, you can have 22 models in it which can fire out. Fire out with 22 different weapons. So it's ram shackle but rubbed. Each time an attack is allocated to this model, worsen the armor penetration characteristic of that attack by one. Knights. So it's reducing the AP. That's. I, I, I like that. I think it's a lot better than all those different roles that you used to have. Um, yeah. It's nice, consistent. Not a lot of high level armor penetrations out there, so that's going to help bring a lot, of, a lot of twos, so down to down to ones. Yeah. War gear abilities. Add two to the bearer's toughness characteristic if you give it a hard case. But it can no longer it no longer has the firing deck ability. And damage, 1 to 5 wounds remaining, so it's a 16, so yeah, so it's lost down, down to 1 to 5. Each time this model makes an attack, subtract 1 from the hit roll, so it's just not as strong. And it has an invulnerable save of 6 up. You only know, take 1, the transport model has capacity of 22 orcs. Orcs infantry models, In this, if this model is equipped with a kill cannon, it has a transport capacity of... 12 orcs each mega armor and jump pack model takes the space of two models if this model is not equipped with hard case cannon kills up it can transport one gas gold thracker and it takes up the space of 18 models remember that for something i'm going to show you in the coming up war gear options this may be this model can be equipped with one of the following one cannon one kill cannon one zap gun this model can be this model can be equipped with four big shooters. This model tracks and wheels can be replaced with one death roller. And this model can be equipped with the following of the Ard Case, Grabbing Claw, and a Wrecking Ball. Hmm, I forgot to say, to read out, that it's also equipped with a lobber. Weird. Okay, the range weapons are big shooters, rapid fire 2, range 13 inches, 3 attacks. BS5, Strength 5, Damage 1, the Cannon, you've got two options, it's the Frog, which is the Frag, so the Cannon Frag, it's Blast, D6, 5 plus Strength 5, no AP, 1 damage, and the Cannon Shell, 1 attack, 5, five plus with 6 skill, 9 Strength, Neg 2, D6 damage, and the Kill Cannon, which I quite like. It's only 24 inches. Nice if it was 36 inches, but it's attacks D6 plus 3. So you're going to get at least 3 to start off with. It's quite nice. Well, 4. Um, BS5, 9, strength 9, neg 2, damage 2. Yeah, I like that. But you're going to get a bit closer. The Lobber. 
the blast, indirect fire, which means you don't have to see it to hit, to fire at it. 48 inches. D6, BS5, strength um, 5, and AP1, damage 1, and the zap gun, 36 inches, 1 attack, BS5, 2D6, strength, neg 3, damage 3. That might be fun, but it's going to be hit and miss. Death Roller. Melee 6 attacks. Weapon skill 3 plus. Strength 9. Negative 1 AP. Damage 2. Grabbing Claw. Extra attacks on the Grabbing Claw. So you get 2 extra attacks. And the weapon skill 3 plus. Strength 8. Neg 2. Damage 2. Nice. Tracks and wheels. 6. 4 plus. Weapon skill. Uh, 8 strength, 1 damage. So if you don't have a death roll, you've used the tracks and wheels. Not as tough, but it doesn't damage as much, and one it's just like running over. Wrecking Ball, extra attacks, 1 attack. Weapon skill, 4 plus. Strength, 10, d6 damage. You'd take it for fun, wouldn't you? You just would. You would have to. Battle Wagon, nice, versatile thing to do. You can either use it as a gun platform, or you can use it to trans or shooters, or get infantry. It's a shame this doesn't have an assault ramp, which means that you can't move, then jump out. You've got to jump out, then move. So that's a bit sad, but it is what it is. 185 points for all those options. That's good. That is pretty darn good. We're going to be seeing a few of these. Okay, the Hunter Rig. Woohoo! 10 inch move, toughness 10, save 3 plus, wound 16, 7 up, OC 5. It's roughly the same as a, tro as a battle wagon. Okay, um, Deadly Demise 6 of the core abilities, feel no pain, plus 6 and a fire and deck 21, so it has one less thing that it can shoot, shoot out of with. So yeah, that's alright. Okay, it loses one. One infantry member that can shoot in it, but it also has the fill no pain of six up. Yeah, I don't mind that. Um, bail out boys. If this transport is destroyed, you can re-roll the dice when determining if a disembarking model's unit suffers mortal wounds. Nice. Damage, one to five wounds remaining, and so it's the same as the battle wagon. Um, subtract one from the hit rolls, because the unit's almost damaged. You can only take one. This model has the transport capacity of 21 Beast Snagger Infantry models. And so that can be any combination, not, um, yeah. So what Beast Snagger models are, the Beast Snagger Boys, the Beast Snagger Infantry models, Beast Snagger Boys, Beast Boss, um, Pain Boss, Weird Boy, a Were Boy, sorry, Were Boy. Okay, the ranged weapons, it has a heavy lobber. And we saw that before. Blast, indirect fire, 40 inch range, attacks D6, BS5, strength 6, damage 2, nice. The sticker cannon, it is um, it's an anti-monster and an anti-vehicle, 2 plus, so... Anti-2 plus means if you roll 2 or more, that gives critical hits. Critical hits mean that they automatically wound. Roots. Snagged, that's a new rule I haven't seen before. Snagged, each time this weapon scores a hit against a monster vehicle, monster vehicle unit, until the end of the turn, if the bearer selects that unit as a target of a charge, add two two charge rolls. Nice, nice, so you've, you've, you've snagged them, so you can run in and, and hit them. I like that. And what would you hit them with? Butcher Boys, extra attacks, anti monster 4, anti vehicle 4, so win 4 pluses, nice criticals, uh, attack 4, weapon skill 3 plus, strength 5, AP 1, damage 1. Savage Horns and Hooves is extra tort attacks and it's a lamp. Weapons with lance ability in their profile and those lance weapons each time an attack is made with such a weapon. If the bearer made a charge move, add one to the attack's roll. Okay, so add one to charge if you use the, um, the savage hordes and hooves. 
four extra attacks, four up uh, weapon skill, strength eight, AP one, damage three, and the saw blades, six attacks, weapon skill three plus, strength 10, negative one AP, two damage. So you've got the base six attacks, which is the saw blades, and you've got extra four with the butcher boys and extra four with the savage horn. Oh, so that's what, 14 devs, 14 hits all up, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like it. I think we're gonna be seeing the Hunter rig a fair bit at the moment. Coming in at 180 points, that's five points less than a battle wagon. That's good value for money, I reckon. Now the kill rig has exactly the same profile. 10 inches move, toughness 10, three plus save, 16 wounds, leadership seven, OC five. It has the deadly demise. Where it differs is that instead of a firing deck of 11, uh, 21 has 11. Um, and it's got some psychic attacks in there as well. So let's go into that. So the spirit of Gork psychic phase. At the start of the psychic phase, you can select psychic phase. There's no psychic phase. What I meant to say was in the fight phase. phase you can select one friendly orc within 12 inches of this model. And a roll and roll one d6 on a one. This model suffers d3 mortal wounds on a two to five. At the end of the phase, add one to the strength characteristic of melee weapons by this model in that unit. On a six until the end of the phase, add one to the strength characteristic of that melee weapon equipped by that model, and that and those weapons have lethal hits. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. That's what we like to see. New composition, this model's script with every lover, Sigur Cannon, Wurtau, Butcher Boys, Savage Horns, and Who's Saw Blades. This room has a capacity of eight, of 11 Beast Snaggers. That's because it's got the Wurtau. Um, heavy Lobber. It's Blast, Indirect Fire. We have saw that from last time. The Sigur Cannon, exactly the same. What the range weapon is difference is the word tail, which is hazardous, it's psychic, and it's a torrent. So, auto hits. 24 inches, D3 attacks, strength 12, neg 3 AP, damage 6. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're taking this. Yeah, 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 this is a great weapon to use. Okay, melee weapons, exactly the same. There's no difference from the... So really, what you've got is a the chance for some psychic powers, um, a decent shooting psychic weapon, a really good buff, and it's like one friendly orc. So it doesn't have to be, it can be any orc unit. It doesn't have to just be beast naggers. So that's really, really good. Okay. For 220 points, which is... 40 or more than the other rig, uh, it is definitely worth taking with all those extras. Definitely, definitely taking. I need to get both now. Okay, the truck. Good old truck. Movement 12 inches. Yes. It's probably the fastest moving of the um, transports. I'm going to see what made that noise. Just a pigeon. So look at this truck. So it's 12 inches. So of all the um, the vehicles at the moment, this moves the most. Toughness eight. Four up save. Wounds ten. Leadership seven. OC two. And it's deadly demise D three. And um, firing deck twelve. Grot riggers at the start of your command phase. This model regains one lost wound, so nice, it can keep rehealing itself. So it's got an invulnerable save of six up, so that's, uh, that's gonna be nice. Okay, the truck is equipped with big shooter and spiked wheels. Uh, this model has transport capacity of 12, oh, 12 orcs, 12 orc infantry models. 
Each Mega Armor model takes up the space of two models. It cannot transport jump packs. Now, have you noticed it's not talking about Gazgul? Gazgul is an infantry model, so it only takes up one slot. Um, yeah, whereas in the Battle Wagon, you know, it takes up 18. Maybe he's on a diet when he goes in a truck. Um, that will be fixed. That's definitely going to be fixed. Um, that's a. Uh, Expect an errata about that. Coming soon. Ranged weapons. The big shooters, all you get. Rapid Fire 2, so 36A. Range. 3 attacks, plus you steal 5 plus. Strength 5. No damage. Melee weapons at the spiked wheels, which we talked about before. So that's 3 attacks. 5 up weapon skill. Would have been better for something a bit. Strength 6, no damage, so you keep running over something. Um, the Wrecking Ball, 6 extra attack, oh sorry, an extra attack. 1, 4 up, strength 10, d6 damage. You'd put it on there. You'd put it on there. Although not a lot of options, it is only 50 points. And it, this will make an excellent travel, moving, firing platform, or or a good vehicle to get your troops closer. Well, there you have it. That's the uh, transports with wheels or with legs that pulling things. <laughs> um, yeah, look, not bad, not bad. Like as I said before, I think the I think the truck is the the, the weaker option because um, it just had many bells and whistles. Um, but it's it's still it's still, you're probably going to see a few. And, um, and especially until they fix that, they fix that rally, you're going to see Gazzy in a truck. Mean, nasty people are going to, are, are really going to sort of push that one, aren't they? Um, if you're playing up against a decent nice guy, I wouldn't do it. I'm sure you wouldn't do it too, because you're a nice person. Um, but yeah, there are, unfortunately, there are that guys out there. So, what do you think? Which transport do you like the most? Comment below. Let's have a conversation. So look, next one I'm going to go and talk about things on legs. There'll be transports and non-transports. Anything that has a leg um, will be will be involved. So think of your noughts, your deaths, your killer cans, and we'll even talk about that stomper. But until then, if you are going crumping, remember you've got to bash early, bash often. Wah! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe and share. And also press that notification bell so you get to see more of my videos. If you want to get social with Brack, well then, down in the link below, there are all those wonderful platforms that I'm on. And there's even a few you can donate to, like Patreon and buy me a coffee. Once again, thanks for watching and catch you later.